8.4 Vector and parametric equations of a plane. Let's first try to understand what planes are and how can we define them. Example 1. Explain ways in which the plane can be defined. Okay, so there are basically four ways in which plane can be defined and let's discuss them here. One is that we have a line and a point not on the line okay then we can define a plane and we can show you like this let's say this is our plane we'll represent a plane with the parallelogram right and in this plane let's say we have a line and a point then it uniquely defines a plane if we just have a line let us assume that we just have a line and not a point then it uniquely doesn't define a plane how imagine this line we can have a plane going like this like this in so many directions a plane can go through this line do you see that so a plane is not uniquely defined if you only have a line it can just go through the paper right at any angle correct now the plane which I have drawn is the sheet of the paper on which I have drawn so only this sheet of paper contains the line as well as a point which is not on the line, correct? So that is one way of doing it. The second way of defining a plane is to have three different points which are not collinear. What I'm trying to say is three points which are not in a straight line. Then also you can make a plane. And how you understood this one, right? So basically, two could give me a line and a plane and a point extra. Do you see that? So that is another way of finding, defining planes in a unique way, right? So let me write down here. So we have a line and a point, right? what is necessary point not on the line correct and here we have three non collinear points correct and there are two more conditions so one is that we have two different lines which are intersecting so let's say we have a line like this and we have another line let's say going in a different direction like this correct so these also will give us for example two points and a line like that correct so so we have a condition like this where two intersecting lines and the fourth condition is that we have two parallel lines right So we can have a line like this and another line like this and both are parallel. So these are conditions and parallel and non-coincident. They should not be overlapping, correct? So these are the four different conditions when we can define a plane uniquely, right? So we will take examples where for each and then define equation of plane and then work with them. But it's kind of important to understand basic conditions, right? Thank you.